Good morning everyone and welcome to conference day three. Um, I have no idea how much I filmed yesterday, I feel like it wasn't very much, but today we have the last bit of the conference in the morning with all the presentations, and then we have the facility visit in the afternoon, so hopefully I'll get some nice shots of animals. I know we're going backstage a lot, so I don't know if I can film. Um, we'll see, but I should definitely be able to get at least some shots of the dolphins, I think. Um, it's been really fun, it's been really full on, like it's a lot of work, especially because I'm running the social media for EAM. Like everyone who's working the conference is exhausted, like it's a lot of work, but it's been so fun. I've had a lot of great response um, and I'm excited to hear some more of the presentations um, this morning. Yesterday's presentations were so good, there was one... Um, on keeping research training fun, which I loved. Extinction of a behavior of a beluga vomiting through his blowhole. That was disgusting, but also very interesting. And they managed to extinguish it, amazing. Um, I filmed a lot. I don't know how much I'm gonna put up on YouTube for the public, uh, but my mentees are getting access to everything anyway. Um, yeah, let's go. So this is my outfit for conference day number three. I've basically had a capsule wardrobe for this entire conference. I've had three different pairs of trousers and multiple different shirts that I could kind of alter, alternate. Um, and it's been really nice. I have had different shoes, but I'm so glad I brought these because one, not everyone dresses business appropriate for the conference. I'm gonna say that. There's a lot of jeans and trainers. Two, my feet are absolutely killing me. So my boots that I brought have like a little heel. Um, there's there's no way that I was wearing them after day one. So I've been very glad to have these. But we have the gala dinner later on tonight and I need to figure out which one of my dresses I'm wearing and if I am going to wear heels or not. Um, <laughs> yes. So uh, now we have our uh, last guest Speaker, so the pressure is on his shoulder because uh, the last you always remind what has been said, so it's like a kind of conclusion. Uh, so we are very, very happy to have uh, with us Mr. Alessandro Cajal, the CEO of Seattle Zoo. So uh, I will make it very short. Uh, he has an extended experience of uh, what a zoo has been, what a zoo is now and uh, he has a lot of things to say to us about what the zoo should and will be. So uh, I'm very, it's my pleasure to have with us Alison Borrera. Hola, buenos días. Bienvenidos a Valencia. Welcome to Valencia. So glad to be here. I can barely see you. There's a lot of light in my eyes, but I guess this, are you awake? Yes, for the last day of the conference. <laughs> Good to have you here. Um, I'm honored. It's an incredible opportunity. Thank you. We'll be online and we can thank Manuel and the Zenfi Committee for the quality of the, the program. So, a round of applause for Manuel. from all this is that we, have to, uh, we are doing amazing things in research, conservation, education and welfare. Uh, Andres so, show us uh, many examples of that and all the speakers that were coming uh, for this uh, session. This work wouldn't be possible without the help of the trainers. It has to be mentioned, without them we are nothing. Uh, we are doing a very good work and it's important because we are facing a biodiversity crisis. Nothing new there. Uh, but, but, but very few people know about it. So we need to let, we do, let people know we are part of the solution. And that was the motto of the conference. And I think Alessandro um, Hayal said a lot of things in that direction. So social media is one, as I did a presentation on, on that topic. She's very active. She's actually filming me saying this. <laughs> so if you want uh, to uh, reach her to know more about how you can do that, please do it because she can also help you in your different facility and she can consult to help you so you know her you know where she is so um we can also applaud her for the work she has done the whole conference to make the conference very visible. so 
everybody was made a strong decision and the winner is baby sd Uh, I have a small episode about uh, party, party, yeah. I wish I'd brought my sunglasses today, but the conference is now officially over. It is closed. And we are now doing our facility visit, which I wish I'd brought my sunglasses for because I forgot I was actually going to be outside for a little bit today. I can't see shit. It's not going to be helping my wrinkles any. To the acrylic first, and after the natural will come to the car. <laughs>
Okay, my battery died uh, when I was filming the dolphin show. I managed to just film the end of it. We had such an amazing facility visit. We got to go backstage everywhere and talk to all the trainers. We saw the turtle rehab facility, which was great. All of the dynamic exhibits, um, the seals, sea lions and turtles are all in together. Not the rehab turtles, the ones that call the oceanographic home are in there. Um, and yeah, it was great just to be with other trainers. Why am I going out of focus? Be with other trainers. Um, came out to the hotel, had a bit of a rest, had a snack. Did hair and makeup because it is the gala dinner. We are going to the gala dinner uh, and it's Spain, so the gala dinner starts at nine. <sighs> Yay. Uh, but this is what I'm wearing. I'll show you in the mirror. This is what I'm wearing. It's a little summery dress that I've worn before, but I really like it. Um, and I'm going to wear purple high heels, but to walk, I'm going to wear my flip flops because it's still a 10 minute walk and I don't want to arrive there with sore feet. So I'm going to take my camera because I might need to film a couple of things for EAM, um, but I don't really know how much more I'm going to film.